Pulling a lot of storylines in this one, but I'll tell you this much. That three points feeling pretty good for this El Paso Locomotive FC squad, who's playing their first match in 18 weeks. There was a little bit of restiness to this team, especially in that first half, and it didn't help matters that it was 105 degrees at kickoff. But hey, all is well that ends well. And as I said, Locomotive FC feeling pretty good about themselves right now. I think this is the shot of the night right here. Locomotive FC making their way out onto the field with hand sanitizing stations spread out across the field. I talked about the restiness. That was evident in a rather uneventful first half. But in the second half, as you mentioned, Colin, it was the new guy playing the hero, Dylan Mattis, in the 83rd minute. That's your game winner. It was all about this team rallying around each other in that second half. We have to do that at halftime ourselves. And, and I think in the second half, I think we played with so much energy in the second half. It was, it, you didn't really notice it too much because I think the players provided a lot of the energy that the fans give. And that's what we spoke about, like, the fans give you energy. We've now lost that moment. How can we provide it ourselves to make sure we don't lose that edge? A win's a win is a win. 1-0 over Rio Grande Valley FC. And this is huge momentum for this El Paso Locomotive FC as they now look ahead to their match on Wednesday night against New Mexico United, who beat Colorado Springs in Group C play 2-1 to one tonight. So that'll be a big one to watch right here at Southwest University Park on Wednesday night. Colin, I know you can't tell right now, but there is a big smile underneath this mask. Vamos Los Locos, a big win tonight for the home squad.